1985, when we released Mr. Roll, we were, I was one of the 8% of female helmers, I think Variety calls it, of the world who had, who had films in cinemas that year. Wow. I'm told this year, Miranda, you and I are part of 7%. <laughs> O-M-G. So, Gally, you and I both got films out this month about women. Why did you, why, um, why do you tell stories? Because all your f stories, your films, ever since I watched Mr. Wrong and fell in love with that, the awesome Heather Bolton playing the lead role in that film, your story is always about women. Why? Um, because I'm a 70s feminist and my life changed when I read The Female Eunuch. And so my, my whole world is, I can't, the girl can't help it. You know, like, can't help it. There's you, there's, um, there's Jane Campion, there's Nikki Caro. The, the, new, the history of the New Zealand film industry is dotted with amazing women filmmakers, Christine Jeffs, who've made really um, notable films and, um, and Waru... Um, by a number of women filmmakers, including Briar Gray Smith and um, Katie Wolf, is just another in a long line of um, successful films made by New Zealand women. So I, I think the question is, um, how come New Zealand has got um, such a successful her story in women's films, where other people don't seem to have such a rate of success? But what's your opinion on that? Yeah, and, and I mean, if you do the stats, it doesn't look too flash, but if you watch the films, it's fantastic. You need a gang, and the problem is if you if there's not enough of you, you can't have a gang. You know, if you, if you spend your life cleaning up after people, if you spend your life wandering around with a clipboard, if you spend your life making lists for other people to do, and 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 the camera's the best fun, and there's a great scrum around it. You've got to force. You've got to. You've got to have the analysis. That means it's not personal. Mm. You know, it isn't. Oh, they don't like me, and they don't think I can do it. No, maybe I can't. It's not personal. It's just the guys are really enthusiastic around the camera, and nobody would have thought to make room for you. Yeah. And anyway, and also, you're not in their game. And you are. Um, you are um, disabled by your abilities in other areas which are often abilities that, um, that tend to be around organisation. I'm not saying you, I'm saying women. Yeah. That um, tend to be around um, things like household management. And luckily for you, and also luckily for me, I'm terrible at that. You grew up with the mother saying, don't be like Mrs Wollaston, yes. whose children went to school barefoot. So how did you uh, avoid that? Well, actually, it was your mother who was really helpful at a very key moment, mm. actually. Chelsea's father had left uh, the the home. So I was a solo mother and Kate, she was sitting across from Bub Bridger and both of them sort of sat up straight and fixed me with a steely, steely look and were very, very definite. And Kate said, oh, oh, you have to do it. And when you've done it, she'll be very proud of you. You know, we were sitting on the couch together watching the first episode of Bread and Roses on the television and there were commercial breaks of course and we get to the second commercial break, break and by this time Chelsea's seven. You know how children grow up with our projects yeah. going on. Chelsea's seven and she looked at me and she said, she took my hand and she said, Mum, I'm proud of you. <laughs> oh my God, it's so gorgeous. <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah, well, you know, it is. And see, Gally, you always made me cry. <laughs> that's such a beautiful story. Yeah. And that's often not um, mentioned. It's like, oh, there's a family and, and children there as well. Whereas for women, in their biog on the back of their novel or, you know, in the inside cover or whatever, for women and for filmmakers too, there's often, you know, with her three children, da 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 da, -da that's a key part of your life story. Well it is, you can't tell it without them. Mm -hmm.